Perutisa na namba 9. Matakisha nini nacheza namba 9? God appeared to Jacob bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mungu mwenyewe akamtokelezea Jacob. Na namba bwana linasema aliposhuka kutoka mtu ambao ulitoa ulikuwa unaitwa Perlamu, akafika mtu wa Petuel. Praise the name of the Lord. Petuel it was a place of worshiping God. And today we are in Petuel this afternoon. We are in the presence of the Lord. And today in the name of Jesus Christ, God is appearing to somebody in the house of the Lord. Mungu anashuka katika maisha ya mtu fulani mchana wa leo. Ambao Mungu anasema mchana wa leo, anashuka kwa mtu anamwambia, "Jina lako litaitwa yule ambaye alikuwa anaitwa maana unauza mashiwa." China lako Mungu anashuka kwa mtu mchana leo katika china la Yesu Kristo Jehova akishuka akikutana na mwalimu anasema ninabadilisha neno lako sasa alitaitwa mwalimu unaenda kuita principal pokea hiyo ni yako haleluya leo mchana wa leo Mungu anatoa unabii anasema anaenda kubadilisha china la mtu Amen Amen chua historia ya Jacobo Jacobo alingangana na na binadamu he struggled with God and he struggled with men praise the name of the Lord lakini mwishoe the Lord appeared to Jacob and told him I am going to bless you wana yesu asifiwe mchana wa leo God has purpose to bless somebody in the house of the Lord who is this somebody that is going to be blessed by the Lord? Ni mtu ambao amengangana mwako uliopita ya kutoza na binadamu. Amengangana mbele sa Mungu ya kutosha. Mchana wa leo niko na taarifa nzuri kwa kwa my friend. That the Lord is about to come down and change your title in the name of Jesus. Kuna watu ambao wametupandika machina. Watu wanasema ah si ni chaki mwenye anaendesha pikipiki. Haleluya. Mchana wa leo my God is changing your title. Ah ninaona unaenda kuitwa CEO in the name of Jesus. Mchana wa leo Jehova anabadilisha matendo. Kuna watu wamepandikiwa machina tu yule ni kuomba omba. Oh my God. Jehova mchana wa leo anabadilisha neno lako. Jehova anarejesha heshima kwako. Kuna watu ambao sasa ingine usikii kutoka watu wa kuone. Na 
kilichoa is about to change your story this afternoon. Watu ukipita bwana kuonye sana, wanasema mnaona yule mwanaume alikuwa amelala huko huyo ndio bibi yake. Lakini Juma is changing the story of your husband this afternoon. Praise the name of the Lord. If only you can continue to be positive. If only you can continue to confirm with me that all is going to be well with your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kuna watu kuna wadada katikati yetu. Kiwangalia ni marembo wa kuna sura wanatupendeza. Lakini wachamanikiwa kwa na familia zao. Na sikupenda kwao. Wanaitwa Miss. But mchana wa leo Mungu wetu amesuka petweli. In this year of 2024, the Lord is about to change your title. You are going to become Miss Somebody. You are going to become Miss Somebody in the house of the Lord. Kiwa una 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 ungana babo chana mimi. Tuko shangili ya Jehovah. Because God is about to change your story. Jehovah is about to change your testimony. Watu walikuwa wamekushohea. Ukionekana kusimama na mtu na bwana mkawa mtu watu wanasema unataka kumkunyamanya mtu bwana yake lakini mchana wa leo jo anapoenda kushuka kwenye petuleli mambo yanaenda kubadilika na maneno yanapoenda kubadilika ninatamani nikakuibia siri ni kwa sababu jehova amekusutia kukubariki wewe ambao haya maneno ambayo unayanena yanaweza kuwa ni maneno ya unabii Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na yule ambaye atapokea kwa imani is the one. Almost he is the one who will receive that blessings. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uko kwenye nyumba ya Mungu. Na unamtegemea Jehovah ukapata kuwa na ndoa. Hallelujah. Maybe last year Mungu alikuwa anakuunganisha na watu lakini you misused your opportunity praise the name of the lord today i am just preparing you to your destiny today i want to prepare you to your destiny mungu anahitaji mtu ambaye uko honest mungu anahitaji mtu ambaye uko faithful mungu anahitaji mtu ambaye amepandeka mimi tuliambiwa asubuhi huyo ndio mtu ambao mungu anamtafuta mtu ambaye amechoza mara mtakatifu ndio wachungaji tutakuombea na tutatangaza Mungu akunganike akunganishe na mwanaume wa kutamanika kutoka kwake kwako lakini je will you be available Bwana Yesu asifiwe tutakuombea na siku zote watumishi wa Mungu wakikuombea Mungu ataanza kukuletea wanaume mbalimbali wakikuwa approach na wakati umechaswa ume na roho mtakatifu utakuwa mtu wa kuomba na kumwambia Mungu because this is my year nataka niwe na ndoa nataka niwe na nyumba yangu kwa wanaume wawili ambao umeniletea ama watatu ninaomba Mungu ukanionyeshe ni nani aliye mume wangu ni nani ambao umekusutia twende kuishi na yeye ikiwa kutashindwa kuomba kwa sababu wachungaji wako hapo kucheni tuambie tukapata kuomba na wewe na Mungu atasema Jehova anasema lakini Mungu atakuletea mwanaume na kwa sababu you are not connected in the spirit mwanaume ambaye anatafuta mwanamke matiri utaanza kuchifanya wewe ni yoyo hallelujah utaanza kuchifanya wewe ni slave queen Mwanamke akikwambia mkutane hata kwa apostle usimkae chini muonge unataka kumpeleka Abana Maybe na mfuko wake na siku murusi mkakae Abana Mwanamke anataka mkutane mahali pa kusilent muonge Unataka kumpeleka resort Unataka kumpeleka swimming Unataka kumwambia kupeleka vacation Mombasa Yule mwanamke akifika anasema Hii kitu me disqualify this lady I need a wife material. This one is a twelve. Mark my words. 
Because we are not going to be able to do it. 